Hey guys, uh, I got the kids are feeling better and I got them at the park playing for a little while. <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you guys something. In your area, you need to know where, see, stuff like this is. This is a little, let me get down here. It's a little natural spring that's coming through this park. Now, some people will know about it and some people won't know about it. They'll think, oh, this is contaminated water because it does look kind of nasty because the park officials around here don't keep, the, keep it clean. But that's a natural spring coming out. And this would be a good food source and water source because you can catch crayfish and minnows in here. I'll walk down this way to show you some where it winds up at. I mean, it's kind of nasty through here. Mosquitoes. You'd want to be careful, you know, of waterborne pathogens. But, um, you know, there's squirrels. There's a squirrel that just ran here. There's plenty of wildlife around here. Frogs. There's a snake, a water snake that just went in there. Um, but, you know, let's go down here. But it's an area you might want to know about if if you got something like this in your area you know check it out and see what it what it looks like how it how it is you know because you could it could be your only water source I mean let me come around here say so this is just a small just a small little area and like I said, there's minnows. There's plenty of, of minnows and um, um, crawdads and the raccoons. There's all kinds of raccoon tracks. I come down here. This is on the other side here is where I throw my um, minnow traps in and get my shiners and, and minnows when me and the boys go fishing. This is the, this is the spring that runs into this main creek over here. Let me get over here and I'll show you if I don't get hit by cars. But, sorry, it's a little walk. Boys are over there playing, so I'm going to let them play. And, you know, there's all kinds of vegetation down in there. Green vegetation, so the water, you know, it's a spring fed, so... Let me go up here. Yeah, this area you'll probably have to be careful about if you do get in something like this because it's, you know, it's wooded and people could be laying in wait for you. But just knowing it's in your area is what I'm saying. You know, it's a water source. It's a food source in the middle of the town. You know, in some of this area, some of this area is pretty deep. I mean, and you can get some pretty good size, you know, fish out of here. You can get you four, five, six, seven, eight good size, you know, fish, brim, bluegill, you know, bluegill. Um, we've caught everything, catfish in here everything in here and um, but it, it goes in circles but the point of the video is know about these areas in here I mean there's walnut trees in here there's you know, yes it might be a little dangerous in a SHTF situation to get into but you know, if you're needing, you know, come early morning or late evening and don't let your presence be known. And um, just scout out areas like this. Because like I said, this is full of, you know, food that you could survive in a SHTF situation if need be. 
you know, you got a way to wash your clothes. You got a way to wash your body. And like I said, this is just a little couple of areas. And, you know, it's about four or five foot deep in some areas. But how many people are going to think about using this? You know, they're going to think, oh, the water's bad. You know, and you could be, you might have to boil it. You might have to use your water filter. But again, it's a water source. It's a food source. Animals come here. There's all kinds of raccoon tracks around here. There's rabbits. There's squirrels. A lot of times you can catch ducks in here. Um, so, tell me what you think. You know, do you have an, uh, this in your area? This type of, in your area? And have you scouted out for it? Get over here. All right, let me know what you think. Bye.